So don't forget it It's just a silly phase I'm going through And just because I call you up Don't get me wrong, don't think you got it made I'm not in love, no, no It's because like to see you but then again that doesn't mean you mean too much to me so if I call you don't make a fuss don't tell your friends about the two of us I'm not in love no no it's because Ooh, you wait a long time for me Ooh, you wait a long time Ooh, you wait a long time for me Upon the wall It hides a nest of stain that's lying there So don't you ask me To give it back I know you know it doesn't mean that much I'm not in love, no, no Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So this week we're doing 10 CCs, I'm Not In Love. It's a classic tune. You might not have heard of it, but it's a really, really beautiful song. And I've been a big fan of 10 CC for a long time. So let's zoom in and get straight into it. So the first chord, I'm actually just playing an A major up on the fifth fret. 5th, 6th and 7th, so D, G, B and E, but I'm actually putting a, a, a B, B note, in the root, so I'm actually playing the 7th fret on the bottom E. That's just to mimic kind of what's going on, on the record. If you can't get your thumb around, I completely understand, it's a bit orcs. You can put your third finger up there on the bottom E, pinky, 7th fret on the D, and the rest is the same. Then move that position up, you can either do, so it's like the A major to B major, but what you see me doing is like kind of a B bar chord, but I just lift off the bar, so I'm just playing the first finger on the 7th fret. And that just makes things feel a bit more open. Whoops. So I'm just going down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up. Doesn't really matter, so it's, you know, what the down ups are or any of that business. Just try and create the feel, okay? And just at the end, I do a little. And that's just a little diminished. Okay, so that's going to be E flat. Okay. And if you don't know what that chord is, 
its first finger on the seventh fret on the D, second finger, seventh fret on the B, third finger, eighth fret on the G, and pinky, eighth fret on the top E. And then, okay, then we're into the first verse. Let me bring my notes up here. So we've got A major. I'm not in love. A minor. And don't forget it. So all I'm doing there is a bar down, kind of like the beginning to. Yeah, I'm not even going to say it so I don't get copywritten for it. So um, you could do A major there. I'm not in love. To A minor. So don't forget it. And sometimes you'll see me swap between those two positions. I'm not in love. You could add that E string in if you like. Uh, sorry, A string. And then just bar. Bar the top four strings. Uh, sorry, the top three strings. It's not doing that well today, am I? <laughs> okay. Okay, and then I'm going to the bar chords. G minor seven. Beautiful, right? You could play it like that. It's just the fourth fret. Okay, third finger in the sixth fret on the A. And then it goes to a G sharp major. Go over next door to a C minor. And then sometimes I'll remove the pinky to play the minor seven. Okay, let's just do that again. I'm not in love. And don't really worry about the strumming here. Down. Down, down, up, and down, 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 up, down. So I'm just going down, 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 uh, sorry, down, down, and down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. Just keeping it really simple, okay? So that just kind of repeats, okay? And like it resolves A back to B because now I was kind of in two minds about you know which chords I was going to do here because I learned this from watching the guys play acoustically and obviously three acoustic guitars they're all doing different voicings and I kind of like this and then that's lovely, isn't it? Okay. But it's quite difficult to get to. You could use the pinky, I guess, if you if you got the dexterity. But okay, so all I'm going is from that E. I'm moving my third finger up to the C sharp, and I'm barring down on the second fret on the G and the second fret on the D. Okay, so C sharp over A. Okay. And then that's pretty much a G there, but without the root major. So it's just like an E shape in the fourth fret with the first finger on the G, fifth fret on the A string, and fifth fret on the D string. Okay, and then it just goes back down. Okay, it's because. So I think that's kind of my favorite way of doing it. But, you know, if you have an alternative way, then go for it, you know? Then we're back into the second verse. You could do the A major here, A minor down here. Same thing again. And that just repeats, okay? So then we're into the bridge section, or call it the chorus, what you like. Ooh, you wait a long time for me. So I'm just doing quick changes. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. And I'm changing the chord every time I'm strumming down, okay? So A minor, G over A minor, so I'm using the pinky in the third fret. 
then I'm doing an F sharp over D and it's to normal G major drop it down to F sharp E minor then to E minor 7 and we just do that slowly so A minor G over A minor F sharp over D if you can't use your thumb use your first finger like that and then normal G drop it the note with your first finger to F sharp and then E minor to make it a minor 7 just remove that second finger off the D string and that repeats and then he holds on the D and we're just going up to this E up here so I'm barring across all the strings there apart from the bottom E then we're finishing the E major like you would a bar chord however you want to do it you could do it like that or you could go you could play the bar chord there if you can't the power chord rather than bar in and that just repeats okay Okay, and so on. So that's the chorus, and then it just goes back into another verse. Obviously, the original recording is slightly different, and I've just taken this from what they do acoustically live. Okay, just the three of them acoustically. So there I have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to receive my weekly updates. And please remember, I don't get paid for these lessons due to copyright. So if you'd like to support me, what I do over here on my channel, I've set up a PayPal donation button over on my website. Any loose change you have is massively appreciated. Helps me buy strings and that kind of thing, okay? And I do have some merchandise for sale on my website as well. I've got some cool t-shirts and stuff like that, so check it out. And if you'd like to send me a request, hit me up over on Instagram and I'll do my very best to get back to you. Enjoy, guys, and I'll see you again the same time next week. Mm -hmm.